This video shows you my setup that lets me capture rowing session data from my Concept2 to send to the Polar Personal Trainer website and then to add the distance that I've rowed in for each session. I had to do some research before selecting the heart rate monitor so if you're thinking of doing something similar this might be helpful to you. I have a Concept2 Model D with the PM3 performance monitor and the heart rate receiver kit. I use the Polar H1 heart rate transmitter, which they used to call the wear link. Crucially for my purposes, the H1 transmits an analog signal, which means that two devices can pick up the signal. I also use RoPro on my computer, which I connect via a USB cable to my PM3. That connection lets RoPro capture the rowing data as I train. The rowing session data includes the average and the maximum heart rate, the time and the distance. I've got a fairly old computer so I use RoPro on its basic 2D boat view setting because I'm really only interested in the data it's capturing. The display you can see at the bottom of the RoPro screen there shows a history of my 500 meter pace as I go through the session and also my heart rate. And on the bottom right of the screen, it looks very similar to the way the PM3 displays. For the polar side of things, I have the FT60 watch, which comes with the H1 analog heart rate transmitter and chest belt. I also bought the Flowlink docking station, which connects to my computer via another USB connection. When I finish a row, I put the watch face down on the docking station and there's an application running on my computer which notices that I've docked the watch, pulls the session data from the watch, uploads it to my account on Polar Personal Trainer and then I've got it set to open the web page so that I can log in to review my training session. I set up a training program in RowPro which is based on age, sex, height, weight how intensely you want the training program and the number of weeks that you want the training program to run for. I row my session in RowPro's training program mode where it guides you what type of row to do each day. It does give you rest days where you do no rowing. So I have everything connected up. I'm wearing the H1 around my chest and the FT60 on my wrist. I've got the Concept2 heart rate receiver connected under the rower and I've got the PM3 connected to RowPro and I start the H1 recording, then I row my session. Um, I pause recording on the FT60 in between row pros warm up and warm down around the main session. And at the end of the session, I dock the watch on the flow link and it automatically sends the rowing session data to my Polar Personal Trainer account. The extra step is that I go into RowPro and I use the rowing log to get the total distance for the row and then I go into Polar Personal Trainer and I type in that distance against the entry it's created for my rowing session and that way I can maintain a, a total distance that I've rowed. Vitality, the health plan that I have, automatically picks up the workout duration and average heart rate and it adds that to my Vitality account. So it might all sound a bit complex probably because of the level of detail I've gone into but hopefully from the picture you can see how using the H1 lets me send the the heart rate signal both to the PM3 and to the Polar watch so that I can get all the data I need to get it onto Polar Personal Trainer and then into um, to Vitality. I hope that's been of use to people. Thanks.